what's your own sense on how bad the things get uh, and how fractured can supply chains uh, get at this stage? Yeah, you got to remember that prior to the crisis, we were at very low stock levels at very high prices anyway. So wheat, maize, soybeans, all at very, very high levels, even prior to the Russian invasion. And when you talk about Ukraine being a very major exporter to the rest of the world for wheat and maize and barley, uh, those are all have very, very strong inflationary pressures on prices. And we're seeing it, uh, as you mentioned, the wheat prices have just skyrocketed over the last two weeks, up in some cases up 40 percent or so. And, and so what does that mean for uh, the food situation uh, uh, in terms of food supplies as far as Europe is concerned? Because I do know like countries like India and China, there is an element where supplies are met domestically. So, the, 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 you know, there's a lot of focus sure. on food security from that perspective. But I see Europe uh, to be deeply affected by this, cri by this crisis if the situation were to worsen from here. Yeah, I mean, you remember that most of the Mideast and North Africa consume uh, a large portion of their calories come from wheat, and a large portion of that wheat is imported, and a large, a large portion of those imports are originate out of the Black Sea. So they're directly affected, and, and they've been scrambling trying to find supplies uh, and are paying much, much higher prices for that, those, uh, for that wheat. So bread prices and other things would go up absent consumer subsidies. And so we are seeing some governments uh, target lower, uh, poor consumers and things like that. But uh, these are, you know, Ukraine and Russia are one of the large bread baskets of the world. And to have a good portion of those Ukraine exports now not making their way to market, and even worse, the prospects of a, of a, a crop not being planted uh, or, or the wheat crop, which was planted last fall, not being harvested, that could have uh, very serious implications for prices. And you see that in the FAO numbers.